Everyone, this is Ken here at the Circle R Ranch with the brand new Rick Vito Soul Agent Guitar. This is a launch that we are excited about. Rick has been, I think I say, the longest Reverend endorser. Rick has been with this company. We're going on 25 years. Uh, Joe met Rick when he was playing guitar for Bonnie Raitt in the late 90s in Detroit, went and saw them at Pine Knob, and he and Rick uh, hit it off with one of our original models, the Slingshot, um, which Rick uh, toured with and played with for years, which turned into his first Reverend Signature model. And, uh, and then as time went on, uh, in around 2008 or so, we launched what we refer to as the Rick Vito Classic, which is an Art Deco masterpiece. Um, with some really, really cool appointments. And that marked him going from a bolt-on 25 and a half inch scale guitar to a set neck guitar. We followed up the Rick Vito Classic with the Rick Vito Soul Shaker, which was a set neck 24 and 3 quarter inch model as well. Um, and it had these really cool, funky proloid tops, and we did that for a couple of years. And after playing that out and touring a little bit with it, um, Rick was missing the feel of the bolt-on guitar, and we noticed him using his slingshot out at a few gigs, a few high-profile gigs, which we love, of course, uh, and that started the conversation for the Soul Agent, where we basically took all of the best features from all of Rick's signature models so far and wound them up into this one absolutely beautiful package. Uh, so. Our basic construction is, it is a bolt-on, a 25 and a half inch scale guitar, scale guitar note, uh, Reverend's locking tuners, of course, with an ebony board, uh, which is a little different. And, uh, and this is a heavily chambered Carina body with a solid spruce top, uh, like the original Reverend Stage King series. And that spruce top gives it this, like somewhat of a little acoustic zing. Uh, that you can hear that I think really sort of comes through, especially with the chambering. And then in the neck position, we have one of Reverend's uh, Alnico uh, P90 style pickups, and, uh, and then our Alnico humbucker in the bridge. We put these really cool little custom appointments on the humbucker to have it match the beautiful binding which we brought over from the Soul Shaker model. Uh, we have this binding custom made by a company in Seattle, and, uh, and we only use it on this guitar. The one I hold in my hand is Oceanside Green, and we also do it in Midnight Black, which really makes that binding pop. I'm gonna run through some of the sounds. Um, I was playing that intro with both pickups on, uh, which, which I think is, is the tone that really shows off that sort of uh, spruce edition the most. Uh, but let's go to the neck solo. <laughs> And then that bridge pickup solo. There's some funky little things going on here. So when both pickups are on, uh, we can activate a phase switch, uh, which has been used off and on, on on a number of the Reverend models. We feature it on the Reeves Gabrels model, we feature it on the Pete Anderson uh, East Sider T, and now we're featuring it on the Soul Agent. So in order to get the out of phase tone, both pickups do need to be on. And uh, here you can hear it, this is both pickups wide open. And then we'll activate that phase. And it gives you this sort of um, honky, twangy sort of mid-range spiked tone that sounds great when you add a lot of gain, of course. Uh, basically, frequencies are canceling each other out and the frequencies that remain give you this sound. So by doing that, there is a little bit of a volume drop, as you can hear. That volume drop becomes less significant with distortion. Here's some good uh, JHS Marshall style stuff. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
real crack, real quacky, really uh, cuts through a mix if you're looking for something a little bit different. And then the other push pull on the volume pot gives you uh, almost an instant bass contour. So check this out. I am uh, I'm on the neck pickup. Pop that out. Uh, strummy stuff. On the bridge, it'll really take you into sort of a T-style territory. Imagine if you would like a Reverend bass contour control and you spun the control all the way off. You removed all of the bass and that's similar to what this will do. Here's the bridge. And again, we're removing frequencies so you will notice a little bit of a volume drop. And uh, I like this. I think it makes the guitar very versatile and if you're in a position where you're like, you're doing some strummy stuff, and then you want to get into some some single note things. When you go to your lead, it really, really fills it out. Uh, while the guitar has fantastic clean tones, it also uh, takes this Alnico humbucker takes overdrive. Great, uh, this would be. <laughs> And as with all Reverend Bigsby equipped guitars, we put that soft touch spring in here and completely dial in the whole Bigsby system so it stays in tune great. Ladies and gentlemen, the Rick Vito Soul Agent Guitar, feast your eyes.